Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're recording our first MIDI song in Reaper. And this is part four of that series. Next, we're going to work on arranging this song. There's a few different ways we can mark off sections for our song. The first way is using markers. If we go right up here and right click, we can insert a marker right in our timeline. Let's call it intro. And we get a marker right here named intro, which we can move around and mark off sections of our song. But a better way that I prefer is using regions. So let's delete this. And instead, let's mark off a region. So let's go from bar three to bar seven. And this helps that snapping is turned on. So it snaps as we drag this. Let's say we wanted to make that our intro. We could right click up here. And instead of inserting a marker, we can create a region from that selection. And it shows up right up here. Let's give it a name by right clicking it, edit the region, and we'll call it intro. But before we close it, let's give it a color. Let's choose this one right here. Now we can close it, and we can see right here we have a region called intro. Let's create a few of them. Let's go from bar 7 to bar 11, create region from selection. Now, if you notice, there's a keystroke right here, Shift R. So we can just hit that instead. Right click it to edit it. And we'll call this the intro chorus. Give it a color. Now, this region shows up right here. This one being green, this one being red, making it easier to see. And of course, you can choose your own colors. I just like to choose different ones to make it more noticeable. So let's select from bar 11 to bar 15, hit Shift R, right click it. We'll name this one verse one, give it a color. And let's do one more from 15 to 19. Shift R, and we'll call this pre chorus one. Give it a color. Now we have four regions set up. Now we're going to create a few more, but I don't want to do that just yet. Because when we use regions, we can move things that are over here to those sections to copy them more easily. But we'll get back to that in a bit. Let's start arranging the song. So let's go to the beginning and figure out how we want to start on our intro. I don't want to start with drums, so let's trim our kick, and our snare to start at the intro chorus. And we'll do the same thing with our hi-hat, the tambourine, the bass synth. And because this isn't looped, let's just move it to the intro chorus. So now it should start with our piano melody and our chords and the pad. And then right over here on the intro chorus, everything will come in. Let's hear that. Perfect. But to bring it in better, let's bring our hi hat in a little early. So let's start with a pickup. I like that better. So now we have an intro and an intro chorus. So now let's work on the first verse. Let's start by turning off the piano melody, and we could do that by selecting right here, hit S to split it. So we have two separate items that we could treat separately. Now let's go to the end of it, split it again, then we could delete this. Let's do the same thing for the hi-hat, split it here and here. Let's delete that. Let's also get rid of the tambourine. 
So let's hear that. That feels pretty good. Let's bring out this hi-hat just a bit more. Hold on shift just to get that first hit. So it sounds like this. So it stops better. Let's bring in the hi-hat to what we did before. Right up to here. So let's hear that going into the first verse. Let's turn off our metronome. We don't need to hear that for arranging our song. That feels pretty good, but we don't need the tambourine in the pre-chorus. So let's trim it so it doesn't come into later. And let's hear that. Now for the next section, at bar 19, I want to make that a chorus. But instead of creating a new region and working on it here, let's just copy it from the intro chorus. Because we want it to sound pretty much the same. So we can go up here to the intro chorus. Now if we just move it by grabbing it and moving it over here, like this, it just moves it. We lost it over here. So what we want to do instead is copy it. So on the PC, hold on Control. On the Mac, hold on Command. And now grab it and just drop it on bar 19. So now we have another chorus right over here. It copied everything from this section to this section. So now it sounds like this. So we made a chorus. Let's rename it. Chorus 1. And we'll keep the color, because it's still a chorus. Now I want to try something else to make it more dramatic. Let's create a stop right at the beat before the chorus. So I want to do first is split the chorus synth right here. Then I want to duplicate it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and put it back over to here. Also want to make it more legato. So let's double click it. Let's make these notes longer. Like this. And that's just going to happen for these two. So it'll sound like this. And let's create a stop right in this section. So we'll do that with the bass. Let's pull it back to here. The hi hat. We'll keep the snare, but we'll pull back the piano melody. Sierra created a hole so we can hear this note with more emphasis as a pickup for our chorus. So now our pre-chorus going to our chorus sounds like this. Pretty cool. So now for verse two, let's copy verse one. Let's place it at bar 23. So again, it duplicates it. But I want to make the second verse a bit differently. So let's rename it verse two. Let's keep the piano melody on, but let's split it right here. 
and I want to cut the end of each section. Let's bring back the hi-hat. Let's cut some notes out of it, like this. This pickup note right here, let's delete it. Same with this one. And this one, but let's leave this one. So it sounds like this. Let's do the same thing with the piano melody. We can select this and delete it. What we could also do is just double click it. That deletes it. These are already deleted because this section is looped from this section. So now it sounds like this. And now let's copy the pre-chorus from earlier to bar 27. Grab it from here and duplicate it. And that transition should sound like this. Now we have to put a chorus at bar 31. We can copy the same one from chorus one and put it right here. Then at bar 35, let's create an outro. But we're going to make it a bit different. So let's just select it from 35 to 39. Shift R, we'll name it outro, give it a color. Now let's copy the end of a chorus synth from the earlier chorus right here. Hold that control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just drag it over so it completes the phrase. And for this section, I want to turn off the bass by just deleting this, the tambourine, and we'll just keep it piano melody, chords and pad, and the drums. Let's split right from here on all of these, and let's delete all these pieces. So here's our outro. Let's hear it goes from here. So that's the song arrangement. We're going to add more things in the next few videos to make each section more interesting. But for now, we have a song arrangement. So we could add different parts just for those sections. Now I'm going to play this back from the beginning, just for a reference. But if you don't want to hear it, just jump to the next video where we'll start adding more things.
Bye.